What is gratitude? And when did you last truly feel grateful? Complaining, complaining, complaining. There was a day where I was complaining quite a lot. More than usual, for sure. It was a normal day. Well, if you could call it that. I was in the only pan-continental city in the world, situated in two continents, Europe and Asia. I was in Istanbul. But a couple of hours before that, I was freezing in the cold of the early morning in Stansted Airport, which I didn't particularly enjoy and moaned about until we got onto the plane. When I, my auntie, and my uncle arrived in Istanbul, we checked into the hotel, and I was taking out my clothes for the night. I closed the luggage, thinking I didn't need anything else, but rem remembered there's some I had something to take out. But when I tried opening the lock on the luggage with my combination, it wasn't opening. What do I do now? So I start pacing back and forth in the room. Surprise, surprise, I'm again complaining. And after a good 10 minute rant about how terrible my life is, I decided to try all possible combinations, even if it did take all night. Luckily for me, it only took two hours. The next day I was complaining about how I was dying of hunger. I needed some fuel if we were going to be exploring the city. So we went to a nice restaurant, ordered some food, but the food was taking way too long to arrive. When it finally had arrived, we started eating, when all of a sudden this adorable little girl, about this tall, with messy chestnut brown hair, hazel eyes and tattered clothes, came up to me. Of course I didn't know what to say to her, and as I was wondering what to say to her, she kissed me on my left arm. Not once, not twice, three times she kissed me. If I didn't know what to say to her then, I certainly didn't know what to say to her now. It's safe to say my brain went on a temporary holiday abandoning my body. I was in shock, to say the least. The little girl continues staring into my soul while my aunt is questioning why I'm not doing anything, such as giving, asking her what she needs. I finally step out of the trance when she's about to leave and ask her to come over so I can offer her some food along with water. If anything, that experience has been a real eye-opener for me and has taught me always to be grateful because at the end of the day, I wasn't the one dying of hunger. She was. And after meeting her, I realized I'm in a way better position than the 1.7 million people living in poverty in Istanbul, as I have a roof over my head, food in my stomach, and a school to go to. So what I'm asking of you is to always remember to be grateful for what you have because there are others out there who might not have as much as you do.